Hey guys, welcome back to NextGen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can create a split screen animation in VSCC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to create a split screen animation in VSCC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So, this is my first demo video, which you can see on screen right now. And this is my second demo video, which is present right below my first demo video in the timeline, as you can see right here. Now, the first thing which you need to do to create a split screen animation is double click on the first video, which is present at the top and then go to video effects, go to transitions, select wipe and then click on OK. Now place this wipe transition at the beginning of the video like this and look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside type currently door is selected. So click on this drop down list and select side. Inside mode right to left is selected so that's fine. Inside directly false is selected so that's fine as well. Inside transition levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon 100. So instead of 0 semicolon 100, you need to write 0 semicolon 50 and then press enter. Inside gradient length, currently the value is 50%. So instead of 50, you need to write 0 and then press enter. And now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is what is happening on screen. Initially, I just have my first video, but by the end of this swipe transition, my second video is visible and it occupies 50% of the screen. So if I just place the cursor at the end of the transition, right at this particular position, as you can see, on the screen, both my videos are now visible. My first video is occupying 50% of the screen and my second video is occupying the remaining 50% of the screen. All right. And now what we will do next is we will create a duplicate of the swipe transition. So click on the swipe transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this second wipe transition after the first wipe transition like this and we will increase the duration of this second wipe transition. So currently the duration of this second wipe transition is one second. So I would like to increase its duration from one second to three seconds. So inside the duration option, write 03.000 and then press enter. And now look inside the wipe settings of this second wipe transition. Type is side, mode is right to left, directly is false, gra gradient length is 0%. So all this are fine. Inside transition levels, currently the values are 0 semicolon 50. So instead of 0 semicolon 50, you need to write 50 and then press enter. Perfect. And so now if I just quickly play the video for you. So this is what is happening on screen. So as you can see, both my videos are visible on screen and they are both occupying 50-50% of the screen. Now, the next thing which we will do is we will create another duplicate from this wipe transition. So click on the second wipe transition, press Ctrl C to copy it and then press Ctrl V to paste a duplicate. Now place this third wipe transition after the second wipe transition like this and we will decrease the duration of this third wipe transition. So currently the duration of this third wipe transition is three seconds. So I would like to decrease its duration from three seconds to one second. So inside the duration option, write 01.000 and then press enter. And now look inside the wipe settings of this third wipe transition. Type is side, mode is right to left, directly is false, gradient length is 0%. So all this are fine. Inside transition levels, currently the value is 50%. So instead of 50, you need to write 50 semicolon 100 and then press enter. Perfect. 
and so now if I just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so initially I had my first video then comes my second video and now both my first video and second video are occupying 50-50% of the screen and then my first video completely goes away and as you can see by the end of this third wipe transition my first video completely goes away and the only video which is visible on screen is my second video perfect and what we will do next is we will create another duplicate from this wipe transition so click on this third wipe transition press ctrl c to copy it and then press ctrl v to paste a duplicate now place this fourth wipe transition after the third wipe transition like this the duration of this fourth wipe transition is one second so we will increase the duration of this fourth wipe transition from one second to three second so insert the duration option write 03.000 and then press enter and now look inside the wipe settings which is present inside the properties window type is side mode is right to left directly is false gradient length is already set to 0% inside transition levels currently the values are 50 semicolon 100 so instead of 50 semicolon 100 you need to write 100 and then press enter perfect and that's it and so now if i just quickly play this entire thing for you from the start so initially i just have my first video on screen then comes my second video and then both my first video and second video occupy 50 50 percent of the screen and then my first video completely goes away and now the screen is completely occupied by my second video so this is how you can create a split screen animation in vstc free video editor do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below like the video and subscribe to my youtube channel i will again see in the next video till then thanks for watching